In previous videos, we've looked at how to create a new project in AutoCAD Electrical, but as important as that project file is, it's not nearly as important as the actual drawings themselves. So in this video, I'll show you how to create new drawings, how to add drawings, and how to remove drawings from your project. Now that we know how to create a project in AutoCAD Electrical, we want to now be able to create the drawings that will go in that project. So we're going to be looking at creating a new drawing, adding existing drawings, and removing drawings from projects. Let's start off with adding a new drawing. In order to, use, to add a new drawing, the best way to do that is to use this new drawing tool right here on the project manager. I could come up to the menu browser and choose new right here, but if I choose this new drawing button, it creates a new drawing, but it does not add it to the active project. And remember, the project helps coordinate all of the drawings and make sure that everything is relatable between all your drawings. So you want to add it there. Um, <clears throat> so I want to use this button right here, new drawing, because this button will create a new drawing and add it to the active project. Now one thing to note is if I don't have an open drawing right now, notice that that new button goes away. All right, so because I want, you know, because I want to be able to use that button right there, I'm just going to open up this demo 02 button or drawing, and now this new drawing comes back to life. So what I'll do is I'll click here, and it's going to give me a dialog box where I can go in and I can add in the information about this drawing. So I will call this uh, electrical drawing number one. Uh, drawing number one. And then it asks me for a template. If I choose the Browse button right here, it will take me to the templates that are used by AutoCAD. And I'm going to just choose this ACAD electrical button right here, or template. If you have your own template, which we will look at in future videos, how to create your own template, uh, then you could use that one instead. I'll choose Open. By default, it wants to put this new drawing in the same location as your project file. And for the most part, that's going to be the way you want, but it's not always the way you want it to be. For example, let's say you have a company that makes uh, electrical uh, applications that are maybe statewide or even nationwide, and you use the same panel drawing, for example, for all of your different projects. There's no reason to have that same panel drawing in several different locations. You can have one panel drawing and simply refer to it and include it in all of your other projects. And we'll, we'll, we'll demonstrate that here in a minute. But by default, it wants to put it in that same location. Then we also have the opportunity here to add some additional descriptions. So I'll say, okay, well, maybe this is a you know, schematic one and a description to, we'll say, you know, wires and whatever. It doesn't really matter. You could add in uh, style designations, project codes, installation codes, that kind of stuff. I could say that this is sheet number one and it's drawing, you know, like maybe A1, whatever it happens to be. You can also put in here sections and subsections. Now inside your project, there's two ways of organizing your projects. You can do it with subfolders and subfolders, which is what I recommend and what most people use. Or you can also do it with sections and subsections. But at this point, I'm just going to leave those blank. I'll choose OK here. And you'll see what happens is it creates a new drawing and it fills in the title block. Okay, Some of this information came from the, the information that I put in just now, like schematic number one, and some of this information, like practical AutoCAD and Inventor, came from the project information. Now, one thing you'll notice is I told you that when you create this new drawing, it automatically adds it to the active project, but you don't, you'll notice that there's no plus right here showing that this has been added. So what you have to do once in a while is come up here to the little green button and choose refresh and it makes it think about it a little bit. So now it's like, oh yes, indeed, you've got this new drawing in here, Electrical Drawing 1, and it's a part of this project. Now, if you want to add other drawings, you can do that as well. For example, if I were to come down here and let's say if I go to NFPA Demo and I open the schematic tab, and this demo number two, uh, maybe this is something that I want to use in this project as well. 
I can double click it to open it. And so now this drawing is open, but it's not a part of the active project. What I can do is I can come in here and right click on practice project one, and I can choose add the active drawing. It's going to ask me if I want to apply the project values. For now, I'm just going to choose no, and you'll see that it goes through. Again, it doesn't add it here, so I'll choose refresh. And now it says, oh, okay, demo 02 is now a part of this project. It's the exact same drawing as this demo 02 down here. If I make any changes to it here, it's going to change it there. So you have to be aware that this is a shared drawing between several projects don't make any changes that you want to be you know that you don't want to be global as far as that goes if I want to add other drawings <clears throat> I can come in here and instead of doing them say add the active drawings I can choose add drawings and now it gives me the opportunity to come in here and surf around and say okay out of that NFPA demo I want you know maybe all of these like five through eight so I can highlight all of those and say add those as well and I'm gonna say no again here and so it adds gonna add them all <clears throat> and again when I refresh it's added them all here as well again these are the exact same drawings that are down here it's just showing them up here they're now a part of both drawings or both projects if I wanted to remove one for example, if I don't want demo 05, I can remove a drawing. I can right click on it and I can say remove. Now removing the drawing removes it from the project, but it does not delete the file. Okay, that's important to know. It removes it from the project, it does not delete the file. So I'll say yes, I want to remove it. Okay, again, it doesn't refresh, so I'm just gonna say let's come in here and refresh it. So now you can see that it's actually gone, all right? Now the last thing we want to look at is you may want to have a little bit more organization than just having some drawings in here. And rather than doing it with sections and subsections, you can create folders and subfolders. So on practice project number one, I'm going to right click and I'm going to say I want to add a folder. <clears throat> Wait a minute here, what's going on? Right click, uh, add a subfolder, okay. And I'm going to add one for schematics. And I'm going to add another one for right click subfolder for, oh, what's going on? Oh, I got to, so schematics, okay, enter. I've got to refresh it so that it thinks about it a little bit. And then this new folder here, I can right click and, and choose rename on this. <clears throat> and I'm going to call it panel drawing. and again refresh. So now that I've got my subfolders here I can simply drag things around so I know that 8 and 9 are both part of the panel uh, area so I'm going to put those in here okay so they're both there and then you know these are all a part of the schematics. So you can get your drawings organized you can simply click and drag to put things in the order that you want them to be uh, if I want to demo electrical drawing number one at the bottom, I could simply drag it down and put it at the bottom in there. So it's easily done to create your projects, to add drawings, to remove drawings, and to create folders and subfolders.